हेलो गाइस दिस इज शो मैन अगेन फ्रॉम ऑयल एंड गैस फील्ड क्वालिटी कंट्रोल होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग वेल विथ योर सब्जेक्ट्स टुडे आई विल आई विल स्टार्ट एड little bit different subject maybe some of you even not heard of it because generally it is not required in construction process it is a part of pre commissioning and you can say this is the final step before commissioning a pipeline not only pipeline we will discuss later the subject is mothballing this is a kind of uh, pipeline layup you can say but it is not pipeline layup so before we st- start the main subject let us know how it is different with pipeline layup pipeline layup is a process immediately after completing the hydro test we need to dry the line and then we'll put nitrogen inside the line or we can put dry layup we can put ambient layup we can put wet layup so this is all to prepare the pipeline till the pipeline getting commissioned this is all for the new pipeline but what if a running pipeline for some reason operation deactivated for few months or few years later on when this line again need to be in service what we need to do we need to scrape the line properly to clean all the internal remaining service the deposited uh, slags or rust accumulated then we need to make sure the line is clean and then we have to put nitrogen before introducing any hydrocarbon or the service liquid or gas to activate the temporarily inactivated line or a long time deactivated line we need to make it ready with a process called mothballing this is our subject today let us start mothballing refers to the process of taking equipment and or production facilities out of commission to be used at a later time or to be sold it can also include ideas of projects that are temporarily set aside to be put into effect at a later date mothballing only possible for pipeline no mothballing can be done for specific equipment and facilities like oils pipelines of course valves pressure vessels tankage heat exchanger equipment rotating equipment electric equipment air conditioning system flare systems boilers and fired heaters and even it can be done for the buildings some basic questions which comes in our mind when we are speaking about mothballing first question is what is mothballing of pipeline mothballing is the preservation of production facilities for a specific period of time and kept in good working order in idle condition without production so that when needed the facility can be put back in production within a short period of demothballing what is the example of mothballing to stop work on an idea plan or job but leaving it in such a way that you can start on it again at some point in the future six coal mines were mothballed in the hope that they could be reopened in a time of better economic condition this is an example what is the objective of mothballing the primary purpose of mothballing is preservation equipment and facilities are kept in good condition either for later use most commonly or to be sold before selling you are making it prepared to be commissioned why are mothballs a health risk mothballs contain a toxic chemical either naphthalene or para dichlorobenzene both become a gas when exposed to air and, and cause that pungent mothball smell these gases are irritating to the eyes and lungs and may be cause headache dizziness and nausea what are the factors that influencing mothballing procedure recommissioning time length of shutdown climate nature of product relating mothballing cost to replacement and maintenance cost possibility of obsolete technology after being brought back into service availability and cost of maintenance personnel availability of protective media storage facilities security measures to control loss of equipment time required for mothballing now general categories of 
mothballing. Mothballing can be short term mothball, long term and minimum first cost mothball means it must be done within that period. So time of service half to three years. It is called short term mothball. Long term is over three years and minimum first cost mothball which must be done for a system is over five years. Life to restart less than three months. If we want to start it is short term. Six to twelve months is long term. One to two years after major reconstruction minimum first cost mod mothball. Mothballing cost for the short term is medium, long term is high, but minimum first cost mothball is low. Mothballing maintenance cost for short term is significant. For long term it is some, but first cost mothball it is none. So you can go through this table and you can see the difference between this electrical power required, instrument air required or not. Let us... Uh, Consider some important things. When equipment including that used in oil, gas or water production as well as processing and transportation facilities shut down, it can experience far more damage in a short time period than in several years of normal operation. So, operating corrosion rates of less than 3 MPY can be suddenly increased to 100 MPY during shutdown period while relatively high corrosion rates may be tolerated for short term shutdowns they are unacceptable in mothballed facilities now let us discuss the materials for mothballing advantages and disadvantages of the mothball media the first mothball media is mod prism n square the cost is around 2.8 dollar per gallon or cylinders is for disposal this is available in tank, truck or container and it is non-corrosive. Advantages it is safe, non-toxic, non-flammable. Disadvantages it dries out the gaskets and pressure maintenance is also difficult. Second mothball media is fuel gas, cost depending on the location. Availability also depends on the location disposal. Advantages is inexpensive. Disadvantages is flammable, may be corrosive in presence. Third mothball media is dry air, dew point plus 30 degree Fahrenheit to minus 40 degree Fahrenheit. Cost depending on the amount and source. Lower the dew point, the more expensive. Flammable facilities inspection, we are using this dry air. Availability, readily available in most locations. Absence of moisture easy disposal, advantages, non-toxic, non-corrosive in nature, disadvantages may be costly. Fourth one is other hydrocarbons including dry crude and diesel. Cost depends on the location, availability also depends on the location. Advantages may already be present at locations like as a process fluid. Disadvantages, it is flammable, may have disposal problem. The fifth modeling media is water. It is inexpensive where available. Availability depends on the location. It is non-inflammable. Advantages relatively non-toxic if biocide free. Disadvantages sensitive to air or oxygen ingress, potential sulfate reduced bacteria corrosion. Ambient air cost is least expensive. It is available everywhere. Advantages, facilities inspection, low cost. Disadvantages is corrosion cannot be controlled. Now I, I am putting some tables um, in my slides. If you want to go in detail, I may read one or two for you. You can go in detail, uh, stop the video and you can take a note on this. So. One by one, it is written mothballing of wells, where uh, we are mentioning in the facility name and the short term, long term and minimum first cost um, mothballing. I have reflected in the table like oil wells, water wells, non-portable water wells, non-free flowing, they are monitoring and maintenance, they are recommissioning concern, gas wells, then mothballing of pipelines. This is actually subject more relevant to our 
channel i will read for the flow line facility for you the short term mothballing process flow lines we are keeping cp in operation do not remove the sand dunes do not hydro test lines prior to mothballing add a water soluble filming amine type corrosion 200 ppm to crude wet or dry shut in other positive pressure about 5 psig if needed depressurize with nitrogen hydrocarbon gas or crude back flow inhibited dry crude from gosp with wchf if water cut in 30% or more long term is same as short term back flow dry crude with inhibitor from gosp with WCHF shut in and repressurizing same as short term. By the way, WCHF means wet crude handling facilities, and gas means gas well separation plant. The minimum first cost mothballing is same as short term. Here we need to add inhibitor to the crude and pitting expected at low points. The similar way you can find the mothballing brief procedure for crude transmission line, for wet gas transmission line, fuel gas transmission lines, NGL and condensate line, well water supply and injection lines. portable water steam and steam condensate fire water instrument air etc the other facilities as i discussed it is even mothballing is even possible for the buildings is really not our concern uh, my channel is for the basically for the pipeline and piping facilities so i am only discussing with the relevant things and all these informations i have received from our client standards it may be different for other countries and other clients all the plant and facilities